Plaintiff Darcy Ramos claims, once she discovered she was pregnant by the defendant, his jealousy caused him to kick in their window and assault her in front of her son. Darcy says when she returned home that night, she found her ex hiding under her son's crib. Darcy suing him today for the attack and defamation. Defendant Dwayne Price claims he had reason to be jealous because when he came home from work, he saw another man climbing out of their window. Dwayne admits he and Darcy have a violent past, but says she uses the courts to control him. So Dwayne is countersuing for emotional distress. Start with you. Your Honor, the defendant and I attended the same high school. Um, um, a short time later, he came to my apartment building, um, knocking on the wrong door, uh, which time we started a conversation, um, which ended up leading into a relationship. He moved in with me, found out I was pregnant after that. Things started changing. He became violent verbally and physically, kicked him out, you know, let him back in saying, well, I promise things will be right. You know, I'll change. I won't do it again. He was starting to use drugs. He started drinking more, started hanging out with teenagers, accusing me of cheating on him. Um, he'd start snooping through my property, um, start sniffing stuff um, as far as furniture, um, clothing. Sniffing the furniture? Yeah. Never heard of that. Yep. Sniffing furniture. Yeah. Uh, that gets you high now? Checking. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, he'd uh, go through the garbage, you know, picking <laughs> through, looking through garbage. He was uh, constantly accusing me of having somebody at the house. Okay, so he was looking know. for evidence that you were cheating exactly. in the garbage. That's what I'm assuming. We're not sure what he's doing with that couch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Fine, Your Honor. All right. Plaintiff Darcy Ramos claims her ex kicked in her window and violently attacked her in front of her son. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. The beginning of June, I gave him an ultimatum. It was either the streets and the drugs or me and the, the children. Right, what type of drugs? Furniture? I... <laughs> <laughs> what type of drugs did I you finally told, discover? I was told crack. I never personally seen him do it myself. Disappear for two, three days at a time? Exactly. Come home with the most fantastic story you've ever heard? Oh, I lost it in the woods running or... Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's a good He one. was smoking crack. <laughs> Thank you. Your Honor, she's lying, Your Honor. Thank you. You did a test. I've seen him look for a little stuff okay, like that on, on the now. rugs, too. Give him some tissue. He's so. sweating. <laughs> ah! yeah, you see that rock? His lips. <laughs> 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 I didn't already had a hit. This, this particular date on the 21st, um... I got a phone call from another person who wants to remain anonymous. She told me he was on his way. No sooner did she make that phone call, my bedroom window was kicked in. It was him. He came through my bedroom window. And what At I, which time he attacked me, choking me, threatening to kill me. Um, my son was right there <laughs> the whole time. He continued to beat me. Um, I, somehow I got out, cops came, and they found him hiding underneath my son's crib. Got, um, a deal with the DA and did a year. All right. Sir, let me hear from you. I parked on the side of our driveway, and that there was a gentleman coming out our window at the time. It's not true, Your Honor. Now, you say it was the crack paranoia that many crack fiends experience after they go on their binge, <laughs> but he says he actually saw and a man coming, coming out the out window, my... not out the door, coming out the window. <laughs> now, please let me hear the man's testimony. Just go ahead, young Your man. Honor, you saw the man coming out the gentleman window. Gentleman came out the window. I confronted him, being that we just had a newborn in there. We got in a scuffle. That's how the window broke. Pushed him into the window, Your Honor. All right. And then yeah. what? Oh, he took off running somewhere. Suddenly, while fighting, he said, I think it's time to run. You didn't chase him? No, I didn't. I entered the apartment. We had a newborn son at the time. Run. Right, we had a newborn son at the time. If you can, just get, be a little descriptive. I approached him and I asked him what's going on. What is he While doing? he's climbing out the window, you're no, talking he was, to he him. Was, he was out. He was out. Oh, he was already out. He was out of the window. Okay. And then, is the window elevated? It's a basement window. Okay. It's like below the knee. Yes. So you're confronting him. We're fighting right there in front of the window. Oh, okay. So you had to push him down first. <laughs> no. Stooping. Fold him over and then shove him through the window. No, yeah. How? If the it, window was lower than his knee. But it was a long basement window. I just asked you. It wasn't below the oh, knee. Oh, no, no. It wasn't, Your Honor. 
Um, Ms. Ramos, I opened the um, bedroom door. She was in the living room. She came and attacked me. She said, why did you break the window? I said, I, I didn't break the window. He broke the window. We got in a scuffle. I did hear the police coming. And then, so I did hide under the crib. And since that time, what has occurred? Uh, we still talk, Your Honor. And that still, she still wants to be with me. He's violated the order of protection numerous times. Have you allowed him? Um, in the beginning, um, no. Yes. We have tried working things out, Your Honor. Right. We How have many times? Several times. Right. Is some my fault, some her fault. You're raising your hand, ma'am. Come yes. on up. State your, your name. Your Honor, I'm his mother. State and your he name. just got out of jail again from her. State your name, from baby. Ju oh, I'm sorry. Nancy Scott. Uh-huh. What happened? Okay. Uh, I just picked him up June 28th from our jail, what our county jail. Time? Order of protection. Order violation, of protection yeah. violation. He's violated numerous times since then. And Tell me back about in. those violations. There was an incident where he jumped into my car when I had my children in the car. He started beating me in the back of my head. Um, Let me see some evidence on this. Is this true, sir? I was arrested, but that what for you said. For what? For criminal contempt, breaking the order of protection. Plaintiff Darcy Ramos claims her ex kicked in her window and violently attacked her in front of her son. Both of y'all are fools, and I'm finna get you out of my courtroom <laughs> real quick. Real quick. There ain't that much love in the world. I've seen folks that fall in love, and I gotta go back because I love him. He do this to me. He make me feel so good. So I just can't resist him. But he was away for a year. You had gotten over that. Whatever he was doing to you, you couldn't even remember how it felt. He wasn't that good. <laughs> oh. This is your current mate, sir? Yes, sir. She want to speak? You want to speak, ma'am? I was told she wasn't. You were told she wasn't what? His girlfriend. Yeah, she that... is. He says she is now. <laughs> Do you get it yet? <laughs> get that through your head. Say it again. Is this your woman? Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. State your name. Doraylin Kenyon. Yes, ma'am. What do you want to tell me? Um, well, since I've been with Dwayne, I have gotten harassment from Darcy. Give me some examples. She leaves messages on my voicemail telling me to stop with her man because that's why his... I have it on tape, too, if you want to hear it. Go ahead. Three, call me two. Hey, Kevin. Doesn't sound like her. That's not me. You're out. Oh, all y'all crazy. Come me. on, let's get back to this. What's your counterclaim for defamation? So how has she defamed you? Your Honor, she, she, she went to everybody she knows and just... I can't even get a job. You told Your the Honor. truth. No, Thank Your Honor, you. it wasn't the truth. It is. You went to prison for it. You violated several orders. Whatever she said, it was true. Your case is dismissed. Ma'am, I do believe that you suffered from this attack. He did enough. attack you, and despite your foolishness and going back to him repeatedly, you are tonight. entitled to a judgment for the suffering and pain that you endured in that beating, in that incident in 2004 for which he was convicted. $3,000 is your judgment. Yours you. is dismissed. You all have a good day. We met up at the Navy Pier. She took me back to her hotel and that. Stated at 1130 last night. Last night, he asked me to marry him, that he was going to change. He promised things would be different. And I fell for it again. We recently spoke with plaintiff Darcy Ramos, who told us that three years ago, defendant Dwayne Price was murdered. Darcy said her son with Dwayne is now 15 years old, and she's working hard to keep her son off the streets.